March 1st, the members of the Greensboro Regional Realtors Association got a much-needed wake-up call during their monthly luncheon. That's because Corporate Training Manager Paul Espinoza of Pearl Insurance stopped by to host an important seminar on the topic of risk management. We're going to disagree. Does that make sense? We're going to disagree because you want to do everything, say everything, and hope the sale comes through. Right? I want you to do nothing, say nothing, hand over a piece of paper, and get paid for it. Reasonable? In case you missed the luncheon, Espinoza was kind enough to speak directly to our cameras and share what he feels are the five most dangerous practices currently in real estate. Agents that list and sell their own properties really is a problem in the real estate industry. The average claim when an agent sells their own property is over $80,000. So if you are selling their property, if you're selling your own property, I encourage you to let another agent list that property for you and do that work for you. Agent in the same office or in the same firm that really does have a higher tendency for a bigger damage award. Make sure you're treating everyone fairly and honestly. Make sure you disclose what the agency relationship means and how it can affect your buyers and sellers. It's really a key step in, in, in establishing a good relationship and a good trust with your clients early on. About another scary area that we talked about today was um, disclosure and evidence. Really needing to have a well documented file making sure you cross all your T's and dot all your I's, getting your clients to acknowledge what you've told them about the property, sending them to third-party resources like the city website, the uh, school district website, different areas to take that liability off of your responsibility and put it onto them, allowing them to do their own research but still pointing them in the right direction. Having a well-documented file is the number one way to avoid claims and lawsuits and disclosing what you're supposed to disclose. <laughs> Economy being what it is today, we're having, you know, there's a lot of short sale situations, a lot of bank owned property, just using extra caution with that disclosure, making sure that in a short sale, your sellers know what the financial ramifications are involving a short sale, sending them to a CPA to understand what the tax implications are, critical component when we talk about um, distressed properties and the sales of distressed properties. <laughs> plenty of claims and lawsuits involving agents who are serving as home inspectors, they're serving as surveyors, they're serving as electrical engineers. Just act as realtors. Do what you do best, help them to facilitate of real estate transactions, and that will keep you out of trouble. Making sure that you recommend the right services. If a home has a structural problem to it, making sure you recommend a structural engineer to, the, to that buyer.